Hi, I am doing my second video presentation and it is on Garrett Hardin's Tragedy of Commons. And basically, um, with the Tragedy of Commons, he's basically saying that uh, when an uh, individual or people are given the freedom to um, make decisions, I guess, uh, without limitations, uh, it can be overdone to some extent and uh, lead to uh, problems or tragedy uh, in the reading or in his actual the article tragedy of comments that Garrett Hardin's writes he uses the example of um, herdsmen's and basically he has a pasture that he uses and says that the, every herdsman has the freedom to herd as they please on this um, given land um, however over time of course uh there will be a limit of what can, how much land is available to each person. So the person has to ask themselves, which specifically he says in the article, is what is the utility to me of adding any more animals to the herd? Um, and because the uh, herdsman seeks to maximize their own personal gain, of course, they the the two, um, the way he would weigh the option of the two would be uh, that one, of course, he would reap the benefits completely of adding another animal. However, with adding that other animal, it would uh, lead to overgrazing of the land that is there. Um, because the bigger benefit is for them to uh, add the other animal, of course, they would add the other animal for their own benefit. Um, the, the other issue that he mentions, however, is that each herdsman is out for their own individual um, interest so that every herdsman at that point is uh, doing the same thing, which is adding more animals to their herds. And at that point, they have the freedom to do so. This overall leads to um, the overgrazing and in general statement would, um, of course, lead to ruin or a tragedy of um not having any more land, I guess, left if I'm saying that uh, correctly. Um, he also goes on in the article to mention um, national parks, and he specifically uses the example of, I think it's um, Yosemite Yo Park. And he basically says that, of course, that when people come to visit um, that park, we only have one here, that each person's uh, expectation or of what they want or expect out of the land is different and that over time if we don't do anything to maintain it or um, it's going to lose its value to everyone so his answer to fixing the problem is to basically he gives two two answers those answers was um, private private property and public property and basically through the private property he basically states that you would sell off the land or basically give a portion of the land to people where they are limited in that aspect of what belongs to them they don't have access to everything and then he also uses the the public property one where it's still available to people however it's regulated to when they can come, how often they can come, and what they're able to do when they're there. Some of the examples that he uses um, for the to do this, he said it could be from wealth, it could be from maybe auction, first come first serve basis, or based on merit, but that would have to be from an agreed um, standard. Now, looking at this. Garrett's Hardin's example of tragedy of comment and trying to connect that directly to what we have read so far in our textbook. Um, we've discussed um, group choice and then individual choice. This particular model of each individual making the decision to maximize their own personal gain, of course, I believe would fall further into the, the realm of the individual choice. And basically within our chapters, we basically discussed that, um, of course, he basically says that his rationality is on uh an example of um, ordinary people. However, of course, they have their own preferences to their individual um, individual wants and based off their beliefs. And 
through self-interest. And that's exactly what the herdsmen are doing. And even the visitors who come to the park, they're in it for their own self-interest and their own personal gain of what um, keeps them uh, going. Uh, as far as group choice go, um, after reading through chapters uh, three and four, my understanding of that is that, um, of course, uh, each individual person has their own uh, preference when they originally go into it, but that could lead to conflict because it won't have the same outcome or the same maximum gain for everyone. And the only way I can really connect that directly to what we're doing here is that each individual person, even though they're making the same decision to add on more animals for their own individual herd, none of them are taking into consideration of the the, how it's going to affect them overall as all being herdsmen, I guess. You don't know how that's going to, they don't take it in that consideration because they're more focused on the individual. Um, but I was considering the idea of when he gave the, um, the answers to the, or the solutions to the issue with the private or public uh, uh, ownership and property. And I considered that when he said that in order for it to be based on merit or first comer to come up with these regulations, that it would have to be agreed upon. And I think that will come into play with group choice of how each individual will have to make up, up their mind of where they fall or what they believe um, and basically decide based on their wants and belief of where they would stand and then ultimately see what the rational overall group choice would be. Um, and that is it for my presentation for this week on Garrett Hardin's Tragedy of the Commons.